Hey, Yaki Gang, Yaktori Guy here. The best Yaktori you can make is using Binchotan charcoal, but what if all you have access to is charcoal briquettes? Can you make Yaktori with charcoal briquettes? Let's find out. This original has been around since the 1920s, and this eight pound bag cost me $7. You can find this pretty much anywhere your grocery stores, big lot retailers, gas station, convenience store. It is a man made charcoal made out of wood char, some sawdust, and starch as a binding agent. And I think this is a charcoal that most people think about when someone says, hey, can you pick up a bag of charcoal on your way? So I've used these briquettes plenty of times in my life, cooking hot dogs and hamburgers on the grill. But I've never used it for yakitori, so definitely was curious about it. And I'm just gonna use my regular equipment that I normally use for binchotan. So I got my chimney here and my binchogo right here. And let's see what happens. Let's check it out. So just one minute in, as it lit up, you can definitely see the smoke. It's that smoke of burning wood. So at a campfire, that smell of wood, it's very smoky. This is definitely something that you don't experience with binjotan. Very smoky. All right, about 10 minutes in. All the charcoal except the few on the top are pretty much lit. So I'm gonna take it off the stove. Just leave it top of the grill. Let's let it still cook through. Spreading out the charcoal in hopes that as long as there's no exposed metal, we're not gonna have any flare up. Pretty much what I wanna avoid when making yakitori. Check the temperature. So I'm getting a range between 1150 and 1350. So even among the different briquettes, there's sort of variations on, in the temperature. All right, I'm gonna start off with some chicken tenders and the breasts. These are less fatty, so should create less smoke. Gives you a good idea of how hot this is. Next up, we have some negima. These are chicken drumstick negima, so the lower leg negima and breast skin and combination skin of back, belly, and butt skin right here. So on this side, we have the lighter breasts and the chicken tenders. And on this side, we have the juicier negima and the chicken skins. And I really wanna know if briquettes flare up a lot or not. So this is basically the flare up where when the oil drips on the charcoal, it's just lighting up. That's something you wanna avoid. What happens is you're gonna get a little bit of gray on this and that's not good. I'm gonna move that away from the fire. However, even after moving it, it seems like wherever the fats are dripping, we're getting this fire it's flare up. It's just basically the oil is burning on the charcoal. So this black is what you want to avoid with yakitori. It causes this bitter flavor. And even after moving this pretty hard, keep it smoke free. It's even getting on some other yakitori right here. So if you want to cook skin on briquettes, I definitely recommend pre-boiling the skin and get some of the fat out or else you're just going to get this carcinogenic, bitter black soup on your yakitori. If you have something like this though, swipe it off. This is not what you want to be eating. It doesn't look good, it does not taste good. All right, so right here we got the chicken tenders. 
got a little bit gray from that smoke, but we'll see what the flavor is like. So I cooked it to the same doneness that I normally do, but it came out a little bit more dry. And right here, these are the chicken breasts with some musical on top. Not as dry as the chicken tenders. Still missing a little bit of this fluffiness that um, I normally can achieve with the bean jodam or even the electric grill. There's like this sort of fluffy meat that happens when you cook using infrared. And that's missing on here. It's cooked through, got a little bit of a smoky taste, but it's just not fluffy or plump that you can expect with a really good yakitori. So this is negima, the drumstick chicken leg negima. So after eating the tenders, breasts, and then this, now the negima, I think I've pinpointed exactly what is happening. It reminds me of yakitori that you cook on a gas grill, where you get the high heat, you do get the char, and you get this sort of smokiness from basically the high heat and a lot of the flare-ups, but it's just not fluffy. When you cook yakitori on binchotan or the electric grill with that infrared cooking, it adds this extra level of, of fluffiness and that's not what I'm getting with this negima right here. So about an hour in of this briquette charcoal being lit, the temperature has dropped, I would say about 200 to 300 degrees depending on which location I'm measuring. And at that level, it's much more easier to control something fatty like the skin, so we're not really seeing any flare-ups. I'm just gonna let this slowly cook here and it's gonna, the fat's gonna render out and the skin is gonna get nice and crispy. Let it cool for a second. All right, so the question about whether or not you can make yakitori using this briquette style charcoal, the quick answer is I guess so. If you just want to grill chicken, which yakitori just means grilled chicken, you can definitely heat this up in your barbecue grill and grill some yakitori. However, it's definitely missing this extra oomph that is in the yakitori. When you bite into a good yakitori made by a master in Japan or some of the higher end shops in America. And that comes from this infrared cooking method with either the ogatan or the binchotan. It's cooking the meat from the inside out and it adds this extra sort of umami that comes naturally from the chicken. It's also combined with the chicken drippings that are hitting up the the hot charcoal, the bean jotan or the ogatan, kind of creates this extra sort of flavor that was definitely lacking. So the flavor and the texture that was lacking in, in these yakitori that I made today just really reminds me of the kind of grilled chickens that you get at some backyard barbecue, whether on a gas grill or maybe using these briquettes where it's definitely grilled, has a little bit of that char, a little bit of smokiness for cooking with live fire, but it just feels a little, just missing something, that magical thing that you get with yakitori in Japan. If you guys have not done so, make sure to check out some of the previous videos I've done on the Ogatan style charcoal, such as the Tan video with the Bincho Grilled Bincho Tan. Check that out. So I'm still learning about yakitori, but so far what I've experienced firsthand is an electric grill that's cooking with infrared, like the Live Art, or charcoal, such as the Ogatan or the Bincho Tan that can cook with infrared. That's really aligning the chicken or the proteins, anything you cook, really cook from the inside out whereas gas sort of cooks from the outside in and so there's different sort of flavor and texture that you're going to get from all these different heat sources definitely recommend you guys just trying different ones out and if you guys are ready to basically upgrade your equipment definitely ogatan or binchotan will upgrade the flavor of your yakitori but as i always recommend use what you can have if the briquettes is all you can do it doesn't hurt to basically get better at cutting chicken scaring grilling all of those skills are going to be transferable as you get better equipment so work with what you have but i just wanted to give you my insight today pairing cooking with briquette versus let's say lump or bean jotan or gatan that i've cooked yakitori on previously so i hope it's been very helpful for you guys all right so that's it for today's experimental video on whether or not you can make yakitori using the 
is forget type of charcoal. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to thumbs up, add some feedback or questions in the comments, and make sure to subscribe. And if you guys really enjoyed it and want to continue help supporting the channel, you can always donate a chicken. The link is in the descriptions. All right, see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.